Congratulations on the win. How do you feel? I'm feeling great, man. It's a, it's a good feeling to be here and to get the job done tonight. Does it feel a little bit better knowing now you're on a win streak? Is there like a little bit more, is, is it feel a little bit more special? Yeah, it's kind of a relief right now. So it's, it's a new beginning for me. I made the adjustment, all the sacrifices, and yeah, the old, the old work is done. And now I get the job done tonight and I can enjoy myself. So when, um, you know, you were originally going to be the second fight of the night and you turned out to be the first fight of the night. Did that change anything at all? Um, not no, no, no. I'm used to, you know, right now every fight is like, you know, there's no tomorrow. So when I have to fight, I show up and I do my best and yeah. Was there anything about your opponent that surprised you? No, we knew that he will come forward with all his power. So I kind of respect him. Uh, the first one, I was a little bit maybe gun shy, just, you know, to size him a little bit. But as soon as I felt his power, I was like, um, okay, I'm the power bar. I can handle this. And yeah. And there were a couple fouls in that fight. How much did that affect your performance? The first low blow was more just like, you know, uh, su surprised me, but the, the, the eyes was bothering me. So yeah, it took a little time. But after that, I was like, no, I need to continue no matter what. And I'm here to win this fight. So, yeah. This might sound like a silly question because I'm sure neither of those fouls you want. But if you had to be fouled, which one of those is, is easier to work with? Mm, maybe the low blow. Yeah. I, I'm surprised. I would think it'd be the other way around. <laughs> um, and when do you want to get back in there? Yeah, you know, uh, the last couple of months was like, you know, I changed a, a lot of things. So I settled myself in Florida. Uh, so I will just maybe I will take some time off just to, yeah, relax, look at myself, plan uh, the next chapter. But maybe at the end of the year or the beginning of, uh, yeah, the next year. So we'll see. And do you have an opponent in mind? Uh, yeah, but it just it got scheduled uh, maybe the last week, but the, the, the last two fights I was calling, uh, yeah boy, Eric Enders, I, I really want to fight him so bad, but we'll see. I think is and me could be a very good matchup, so yeah, we'll see uh, what's going to happen, but I'm here to fight anybody. I think I, I showed tonight that I have everything to, to be uh, in the top, so yeah. Let's see. Thank you. Eric Anders, is that just because the Styles makes fights, or you have you actually have some beef with him? No, there's no beef, but I like the guy. He's tough. He's, he's big. He, he came from a uh, football background, just like me. So, yeah, uh, the, stylistically, it, it can be a good fight, a fight of the night for sure. So why not? Yeah. And looking at uh, tonight, you were definitely pushing the pace. You were making your opponent. You always had his back up against the cage. Was that the game plan, was to try to keep him on the back foot most of the, the fight and push him up against the cage? Yeah, that's my style. You know, uh, I know I have the cardio. So, yeah, uh, I want to be the, the aggressor. I want to be on his face. So, yeah, that was the plan. We knew that, you know, he's kind of gassed out uh, very quick. So that was, the, that was the game plan. But be patient, pick my shots and just look for the, the good opportunity to maybe uh, end the fight, but I'm okay with the, the decision, yeah. And it looked like to me, uh, in my scorecard, I had you two rounds up going in that third round, and it looked like you were still happy, like you were trying to go for the finish. I think some fighters at that point were like, hey, let's just take it easy, let's make sure we get the win. But you were standing right in front of them, trading leather. So it was ultimately the goal you wanted to get that finish more than anything else? Yeah, it's, it, it, that's my style. I'm a finisher. So, and also, we never know with the judge. So, you know, I just I heard my, my, my coach, my corner, just they yelled me. So keep going, keep going, and they, let's finish the fight. So, yeah, uh, that's my style. I want to finish. And no matter what, never leave in the, the, the judge. So I'm happy right now. Speaking of the judges, when you were hearing the scorecards, I was surprised to hear 29-28s. I thought I would hear 30-27s all around. Were you a little surprised that, that somebody gave him a, one of the rounds? Uh, no, I thought the, he won the first round maybe because I was, like I said, I was maybe just like a gun shy. I was more like, you know, I look at him and just, okay, 
that's all you, you got, let's go, let's dance. But at the end of the day, just get the job done and I'm very happy, yeah. And last thing for me, they, they talked about the move to Sanford and May and you know, how the styles, are, uh, what, what has that brought to you and brought to your, your fight game that maybe you didn't have before? No, I think it's, it's just to have uh, such a high level athletes day after day to train with. Uh, it's a game changer for me. But like I said, to have my mentor, my, my, my coach from day one with me, you know, it's, it's, it's who I am. I'm from this, this background. I will, I will forever be, be uh, this guy. But, you know, I need to think to my career. Uh, I need to, to do some, you know, uh, changes. So, yeah, I, I did all the, the hard work down there in South Florida. And now I'm ready for the next chapter. Congrats on the victory. Thank you.